Hey guys, it's Molly, your Usborn Books Girl, and I recently received my new consultant kit, and within it there were 20 books. Um, I asked for some input, and by request I've got five to share with you today. First up, I got That's Not My Monkey. This is one of the touchy-feely books um, for anywhere from infants, toddlers, on up. Um, this one has different parts for them to feel, and it talks about the different body parts. So you've got ears on the front. His ears are too soft, not my monkey. This one is his tail is too velvety. And the little kids get to touch and feel. There's different textures in the books and different body parts. And my 18-month-old already knows um, where to touch, as I tell him. The eyebrows are too fuzzy, too hairy. So that's a really fun one. Um, and there's a whole series of these, um, tons of titles, even planes, trains, um, kittens, meerkat, adorable stuff. So that's that's not my monkey. Um, Usborn also had some really great phonics readers um, introducing the letter sounds to um, our little guys as they start reading. This is Llamas in Pajamas. Now, these are nice little paperback books. Um, and you can buy them one off or you can save money and get them in a box that, um, that is on its way to my, to my house as I speak. Um, and I'm very excited. In Llamas and Pajamas, the, um, there's a little guide in the back and it talks about introducing phonics sounds and it's a guide for us parents to help introduce them as well. It also mentions that in this book, we're working on identifying the double L sounds, so like jolly, um, call. Um, and there's, this book also rhymes as you go through it. Um, this particular um, phonics reader has a slight Halloween theme that I think that um, it's pretty fun. Um, it rhymes throughout. So, okay. Into Frankie's Big Bedroom Run Three Jolly Llamas. Hi, guys, shouts Frankie. Check out my pajamas. That's Super fun, and the pictures are really gorgeous. Mom's in pajamas. Um, next up, I have one of our great Shine the Light books. Um, these are big. This is right next to my face. Really big. Um, and I think the really great thing about this Secrets of Animal Camouflage is that um, the animals are actually right on the page. We're not looking for the bird. What, do you, what other animal do you see here? I'm going to pull out the flashlight. And you can do these in the sunny window as well. But when you, you hold up your flashlight behind the page, and do you see it? There it is. It's that stick bag. And it goes through. There's, um, there's tons of animals hiding within. And then explains why. Um, something has disturbed this family of Axis deer. Is something prowling through the grass? Do you see it? I don't have my flashlight on. But it's the tiger. And so these are um, really, really fun, really engaging books for little guys. Um, and I enjoy them too. Um, so that's Shine a Light, Animal Camouflage. There's also a whole series of those as well. Um, there's Seashore, Apple Tree, On the Train. Um, really, really fun series. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what Scratch is. I, I know it's a coding system. And I know that they're teaching it in elementary school. Um, it's quite a departure from what... Um, we were doing when I was in elementary school computer class um, playing kid picks. I am fascinated by this though. Um, I think it's an amazing skill. All our little guys are going to need that. And this is a particular, it's coding for beginners using Scratch. Um, my understanding is it's a, it's a computer program that helps them, te that teaches them um, how it works. Um, so in the contents, you can see there's first projects that help get them started um, and explaining. Then there's games and some useful stuff. It's 
spiral bound, which means you can lay it flat or maybe set it up. Um, as they work on their computer, they can do it together. Um, it's not going to flip pages on them. So there's all kinds of great how-tos. Again, I don't know what it means. I haven't seen the program myself, but I can imagine just in reading these descriptions and the how-tos that I can figure this out. Um, and it looks really fun. Do some shapes. Um, and it's the coding steps all the way. In the back, um, after you're doing your projects and playing the games, there's um, the useful stuff section. Um, there's uh, block menu guides for how to use the different blocks. And there's also a glossary of computer words. And it mentions um, going to the Usborne website with for some click links for some additional information. Really great um, extra space to go, and it's safe. It's, it's um, hosted there with Usborne. So that is coding for beginners using Scratch. Um, another book that I have I've been really impressed by, Special Forces. This um, is for older kids, has a lot of information in, within it. Um, it goes back to um, the history of special forces, how they came about in ancient times, what it is. It talks about um, Rangers, Special Air Services, which is the British Army, Navy SEALs, Delta Force, um, the Italian Commando Frogmen, um, and I'm not going to, it talks about the Israeli special forces as well. And so it really runs a whole gamut. All kinds of things. There's, there are photographs in here and explaining um, what this is. An assault rifle, a weapon used in general combat. Um, talks about insertion and, and how they um, get the guys out. Um, what they're wearing, how it works. There are also... Um, so where is it? Some actual scenario. So this is a D-Day invasion. And it's um, drawn up like a cartoon, in effect. Um, and it talks through. So if your guys are into comics, um, they can follow along in this way. Um, so it's a good mix of lots of information. And I am I'm just really impressed with this one. Um, there is a piece on Vietnam. I didn't know that they had dogs that um, jump in with the paratroopers. Didn't know. Fascinating. Um, vehicles. I mean, it's really incredible. So that is Special Forces. It is a paperback, too, um, but it's a heavy paperback. And I wanted to share one more fun bonus book with you guys um, because I really enjoyed looking at this one. This is Pocket Doodling and Coloring. Um, it's small, um, so I imagine you may be able to fit it in your pocket. Definitely you can fit it in the purse. Um, and this has lots of pages started for you, but they have prompts to at, um, ask you to continue the drawing or create your own, so even just the basic coloring pages. Um, I think it's really fun. I want to do this one. So that's the pocket doodling and coloring book. Um, so that is just, I guess that's six of the books I got in my consultant kit. I am looking forward to sharing more with you soon. Bye.